some lemon juice, I have some salt, and I have some black pepper. All these ingredients are what will combine to give us our salad dressing for today. These are things that I always have at home because maybe we're making burgers or salads or anything. We always have use of these particular ingredients. The list of ingredients and the measurements will be in the description box. So check that out so that you see everything I use and the proper measurements to make the dressing. Put everything into a jar close it and then just shake it properly after shaking properly i put it in the fridge if you feel like you know getting all these ingredients are expensive when you put it all together you can just buy salad dressing in a supermarket this is one that i've used sometimes and i would actually recommend the first thing i'm going to prep are some eggs i'm just going to put it on the cooker to boil because i'm going to be using eggs for this particular salad recipe I'm also going to use some sweet corn. This is the egg boiled right now. I also have some lettuce that I'll be using for my salad. I also have some avocado that I'll be using. I also have some cabbage. This is a red cabbage. You can use any type of cabbage you find. I have some cucumber. I have cherry tomatoes and you guys know by now that I love cherry tomatoes. The beautiful thing about a salad is that you can mix and match, you can take out and put whatever ingredients you prefer. Now it's just time to prep the ingredients and I'm just cutting the cabbage, I'll be cutting the cucumber, the avocado, I'm basically just cutting everything into the shapes that I like. So just keep watching and while you're watching if you've enjoyed the video so far please click the like button it helps me out on my channel it lets me know what kind of videos i should do more of so if this video gets like 2000 likes i know that oh we need to start doing more healthy recipes so let me know what you think by clicking the like button and if you are not subscribed i mean like what's going on <laughs> click that subscribe button okay and to all of you that are subscribed i am so so happy thank you thank you so much if you're ever in need of like meal ideas i have a meal plan book it has a lot of recipe ideas that you can make um, i'm talking about meal ideas just in case you can't really stress yourself and think about it i'll have it linked in the description box i also have a cookbook out that's filled with about 30 nigerian recipes that i haven't shared on my channel so if you're interested in that as well check the description box it will be listed Once I'm done with all of that prep, I go to the chicken. So I did the chicken last because I'm using the same chopping board and I don't want to cross contaminate it. So that's why I'm doing the chicken last and I'm using chicken breast. I'm just deboning it. It is cheaper to buy chicken breast that still has the bone on than to buy chicken breast that has already been deboned. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing the hard work now. I love chicken breast because it is so versatile. You can use it for so many recipes and I always have it at home. Now I'm going to season it with some ginger powder, some garlic powder, some chicken stock powder, some pepper, that's just cayenne pepper, dry pepper. And then I have some all-purpose seasoning and you guys i could not resist <laughs> you can skip this if you want but to add some color you can add some paprika 
or in my case i'm adding soya pepper because i really do love the flavor of soya pepper and it takes a lot of you know some meals to another level so if you can't find soya pepper you can skip it i know you are going to come for me <laughs> a lot of people oh like Susie, i mean you will put soya pepper in everything no not everything but some things i like soya pepper in them now I'm just going to put the chicken breast on a non-stick pan and fry on each side depending on how thick the cut of chicken breast is. It might take five minutes, it might take less. So once it starts getting white at the bottom, then that part is cooked and it is ready to flip. Now I'm going to transfer it to a tray and then leave it to cool off. Once it cools, we're going to cut it into little pieces. And this was very hard for me. It was hard because I couldn't resist taking a piece <laughs> and putting it in my mouth. And this is so good. I have chicken breast at home, like I say, and I always season it like this. We use it for so many recipes. You can put it in pasta, anything you want. And it is great for my kids to snack on as well. Now I'm just putting all the lettuce together. It's time to assemble the salad basically. So put it however you like. You can cut the lettuce into little bits. Just do it the way you like, freestyle. This is how I'm doing mine. Once I've assembled, I'm going to add some black pepper and I always like black pepper straight from the peppercorns because then it is still potent and the flavor is just really, really strong. Mm -hmm. 